that allows you to I'm stay comfortable with my abandonment because you are in your dysfunctional norm that you've become comfortable but with. But it's work. It's become a superpower. But you've learned to survive in it. You're not yeah. thriving in that. There's not a thrive. That's not thriving. You're surviving in that. Okay. And so anytime you are surviving and not thriving, there is no cape. There is no superpower. There's no superpower in a I lack of mental that. health. And there's no superpower. But it's worked for me. Like you said, I mean, you, 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 know why you work read for you? me well. You know like, why I work I, for you? Why? You know why I work for you? I'm going to go there and it's probably going to be okay. Go ahead. This you is know, and this is with the, the, all. The, we watched this the first. This. We got two minutes left Listen, in our first session. With all due respect, <laughs> seriously, to all the women that you've encountered, ladies, I'm saying this. The reason why it's worked for you is because you have chosen and to prey on low functioning women who don't have the emotional intelligence. No, I'm going there. Who will allow you to do that, Nick? And when I say allow, it's not a control thing. When I say allow, I'm not saying that she sits across you and says, this is what you won't do. You're crossing a boundary. Nick. I disagree. Yes. Uh, oh, this no. is why I disagree. I mean, one, because I'll well, be Because why are you going to make sure? But no. you got to go in protection mode, too. No, but no, but even when I say the truth. Drink the coffee. It'll make you feel better. So I just released a video recently that's titled, Is Cam Newton a Rich Pookie? You know, and a lot of people agreed and said he pretty much is. Of course, you know, you have the, um, the men who think they drink coffee, but they don't. Right. Anytime you switch the same type of logic that definitely fits the male counterpart in that situation, they'll say, oh, no, money can replace what a father can provide. When, again, the, 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 the confusion in that is men don't understand that the more they embrace that type of mentality, the more that women just view a rich man as being the only qualification for what they want for men and not really what that man brings, his presence, his masculinity and guidance. And I acknowledge that in that video. I said, you know what? This chick, Dr. Cheyenne Bryant, who modern women are praising everywhere for what they're calling holding these self-proclaimed high value men um, accountable. And we're going to get back to that high value topic right there. But they love this, right? They're loving this. I'm seeing this clip resurfacing on every social media platform. But I, I'll say this, man. I saw another chick who commented on the last video I did about Cam Newton, and she was completely off because she said, oh, and you guys were praising that one chick who's dating uh, Cam Newton and saying she was feminine and calling modern women difficult and masculine. I think my biggest flex is how I treat my man. And I've been known to love people back to health. And sometimes it's very draining, but my love is my superpower. And I used to hate that about myself, but now it's like, I'm just embracing it. Like, that's who I am. Like, if I love you, I can heal you. And the truth is, yes, she was saying the right things. Just because a woman is willing to play the side chick doesn't mean that she's not necessarily feminine and can cooperate with that man. This whole conversation, I want to talk about this conversation of high functioning women and low functioning women. I believe it's sort of derived from the whole high value man conversation that's had that was really popularized by Kevin Samuels. But you see these women now claiming high functioning women and calling other women who are willing to be um, concubines, right? Modern day concubines is what we'll call them, which is pretty much what Nick Cannon has in today's modern day. Men like Cam Newton. And to the men who say, oh yeah, someone like Cam Newton or an athlete deserves that. If you're just talking about finances only, that's a problem too, because 78% of athletes go broke something crazy, crazy statistic like that. And you can't assume you're going to have enough income long-term to support all those kids. When the reality is the athletes who you look up to and call rich can barely do it and really don't set themselves up enough for long-term wealth right so that money doesn't pan long term now i can acknowledge this woman is right but it's completely wrong on other fronts like i think later on in this conversation she uses herself as an example of a high functioning woman i'm assuming this is a woman who's not willing to have children outside of wedlock um who's not willing to be a concubine so to speak to a man with 
means. That's cool. I actually think that's a great thing because you're not creating broken homes. Or at least if you have um, a child out of wedlock one time, you've looked at your life, you've realized where you went wrong and you don't want to repeat it. I get it. If that's the classification of a high functioning woman, you've done the work to not continue to create broken homes and entertain toxic men. I'm with it. I get it. But where they fall short, the chicks who are celebrating is that they all are still unmarried. Drink the coffee. Drink the coffee. It'll make you feel better. Same with this lady. Dr. Cheyenne Bryant. From what I know and I've seen in the last episode with Cam Newton, she was over there talking about, I can't wait to be a mother. I'm like, yo, how old is this woman? Someone commented and said 41. I know that that's encouraged right now as in the largest, I think the fastest growing demographic of women who are getting pregnant or in their 40s. Are they married? Most likely not. You're doing the same thing that you're accusing Nick Cannon of, unless if you plan to have a husband and you do not have one. So there's still a lot here that um, is lacking when it comes to high functioning women when you look at their lives in practice you could say from the from the high all the high value women that wait, i've but ever I didn't say high value. but okay i'm just i'm giving compliments but i'm just saying yeah, yeah, for, I'm like, wait a for the people who are even, even you know of them being because Nick, first of all, low we are, functioning women will allow you to function low with them. Nick, you could not function but, uh, that low. So this is Nick, everyone's low function, functioning at baby, some point in their life. You could not function low with a woman of my functioning, not See, because I'm superior, me. not because I'm superior. <laughs> Listen to me, say this with a quick, not because I'm superior to any other woman, but because I do have leverage. I've been in my field for 17 years, so we get that. But I've done the work, meaning you done the work for for what? I'm curious to know what that is. Done the work for. Maybe self-healing. Maybe it's that thing of like, I got to stop chasing toxic guys. But hopefully you're not past your sexual market value prime by the time you figure that out, which we know what the problem is a lot of these chicks are, right? You won't have an opportunity to get hostile with me and you may want to flee, but fleeing would not get you a oh, payoff no, with see, me. Wait a minute. I'm not the hostile individual. This is what you, that's my point. Did you hear what you just, what you just said? We said yeah. the same thing. You would never have the opportunity to get hostile with me. Yeah, because I control myself. Hold on. Okay. I have full control of my... I, I, but, I, but in your sense, because that's what I'm saying, because even only reason I say what I disagree, because at some point we've all been low functioning. Yes. And we have to accept that. Yes. So, so to, to, to label that is like, all right, well, every, at some point, everybody's going to be in their, in their, in their low state. Everybody's going to be vulnerable. Everybody's going to feel empty. But everybody's going to yearn something. And, 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 and when and it comes tools. to relationships, the beauty of a great relationship is where I'm weak, you are strong. So therefore I have dealt with some people that balance me and are equally yoked. And at times, have I been manipulative and prey on certain yeah, things? Yeah, That's because yeah, yeah. I'm a man. Right. And mm, but not all men do that. We don't want to, we don't want to blanket I'm a all man men. And all I the, the, the better thing to say there is I am a human. She said, not all men do that. Um, definitely all humans have done that. Maybe he does say it later on. Men we'll take do van. not pray will, and manipulate. Not all men. First of all, all humans pray and manipulate. Mm, but in a man not in a relationship, in a praying way. If, I, not in a praying if way. I see that I can say, okay, I feel like I need this and this person has this, I'm going to do and say whatever I need to do to get there. But, but Nick, again, law of attraction. We yeah. attract who we are despite of who we think we are. You use the word, you said women who are equally yoked to you. Yeah. Equally yoked comes in many different facets. 100%. Balance, if they, anything. They have been equally yoked to your low-functioning dysfunction that you have learned to survive no, in. because I use my yes. tools to... Because to, first of all, let's, let's, you're acting as if I'm entering every scenario with the full me. And, and we all, every time someone meets someone, you're right. meeting their representative. I know how to turn on the perfect Did, man. Yeah. What I believe is happening here right, just to explain the conversation, because we did enter the middle of the conversation, is she's saying these women who you're allowing into your life to impregnate, they are entertaining you because you're at the same level of low function, what she has termed low functioning behavior, right? And um, he's saying, no, I'm gaming these women up. In so many words, he's saying, I understand what I'm doing with these women, giving them what they want. They have what they want. I'm not missing anything in myself. I know what it is. I know what I'm getting myself into is what I'm getting so far from this. Now, if you guys want me to react to the whole thing, 
maybe, right? Comment down below. Depending and on so the therefore, person, I yeah. may have manipulated a situation. Right. And therefore, so it's to no discredit to anyone yeah, yeah, else. I got you. I've come into every situation. I can be God fearing, celibate, the one right. that right. you want. I can right. tell you everything that you want in a right. man and show you that I can right. open the doors, lay down the cloak, send the jet, mm -hmm. do it all mm -hmm. to be like, oh, my mm -hmm. goodness. Then, no, I've never. And then toxic Nick but shows look, no, up but look at and you you like did. this. Got me. No, but you he just gave said me the draws and I ain't heard from him what in you three said, weeks. What you said is perfect. No, what you said is perfect because you named all of the low functioning, superficial things that a low functioning woman would fall into. Church. Women, that baby, ain't low functioning. Baby, any woman, <laughs> we going any, to see woman the Lord any woman or man, or the mosque, any person, you go, has, any person who's done the work, who gained a sense of self. Who's worked on their pain pockets? Who's worked on their trauma? Are still going to be vulnerable. On, who, they're going to be vulnerable. They're, they're still going to yearn. Gonna, and late at night, when you're imperfect. sleeping alone, you go, no. "I wish I had a strong man." They're going to gonna my be back. imperfect. But that again, I needed to be clear that I do believe Nick Cannon and Cam Newton are creating broken homes, regardless of who else does it, and blah blah blah. I do believe that. But did you guys hear what Nick Cannon there said? He said, "Even if you go do the work, you're going to be laying in your bed, a woman." who's so-and-so called healed and high functioning, and you're going to wish you had a man. That's a good point. Because if you are healed, then you shouldn't be out here struggling unless you still don't drink coffee, unless you are just angry at men like Nick Cannon because you wish they could settle down with you. You still haven't placed yourself correctly in the um, sexual market value. You shouldn't be single if you're so-called healed and high-functioning. At least that's how I would term that whole um, healing process. But maybe, you know, that's something else. That person would want a strong, healthy, functioning man. Not a low-functioning man. Sometimes it's with some good hands. Not a low-functioning <laughs> man. No. That's, that's what I'm saying but is the difference. But every this, woman, you can't, but Doc, you can't sit here and say that. But you're speaking from Even your experience, highest, which makes it better. Because your experience of these women is that they fall short for a jet and a good meal and a good man who says he goes and to some church. Strong hands. A high <laughs> and, 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 and let me go further and probably a big penis. But so, okay, you said it, not so me. let me go. But a high, <laughs> but again, a high functioning. I'm not even talking about value. A high functioning woman who's yeah, done the work. This. Who's explain done this. the work. Nick Cannon is obviously having a hard time listening to what sounds like some truths. He may have contemplated that are getting put out in public. You don't go around impregnating a bunch of women unless if you're a psychopath. And don't think like, you know, what, what's the long-term consequences of this? You can tell that he feels some type of way. We're going to keep it real here. He's definitely in an uncomfortable conversation. I hear what this high-functioning woman not, is. But a high-functioning woman, you cannot send a jet and be toxic. And she will go on the She jet. don't know I'm toxic yet. A high-functioning woman wouldn't even attract you, baby. Because it's law of attraction. Stick with me. Just stick Who, with me. Please explain Nick, this. Nick, high regulate your emotions I'm and listening. stick with me. Regulate I'm with you. your emotions I'm and stick with me. I'm trying to hear me. you. Listen, <laughs> what, what is law of attraction? We attract who, what, who we, we are. are despite who we think we are. Absolutely. Think we are. Absolutely. Okay. So a high functioning woman. Uh, is so where is her? Not going to attract by just by default. By her calibration, she's not attracting a man this who is, is, listen, not who is not perfect. The man has got all kinds of mess. So does she. So does she. But when it comes to the level of her calibration and functioning and mental health and doing the work, she's going to attract that at which she is, that at what she leads with. So let me say this. Do I get on private jets that I pay for myself? Absolutely. Have I had a, a man shit, do a, a wonderful, beautiful shit. things for me? Absolutely. <laughs> Have I had rocks and this and caught off weddings? Of course. But let me say this rocks there we go now we're getting to the crux of the conversation as far as she's concerned and the other women also who are praising this whole conversation it sounds good and there's a lot of truth in this what they're calling healing is i'm not going to fall for the jets because i've done the healing anymore sounds like after the epiphany phase after you're done in the streets and you wanted to settle down and you're looking around and you're like man I'm healed now, time to date, but there's only one problem. She probably still believes that she deserves somebody of the caliber of Cam Newton. This is not a moral conversation. I'm uh, separate this. I'm just talking about straight sexual, picking a better mate, a woman who can bring you peace, who's the most fertile, um, beautiful, 
cooperative, submissive, all those other things, there's still delusion here because like she let it slip out there, she's calling off engagements, et cetera. Prior to me doing the work and being a high functioning woman, I attracted low functioning men. Hold so on. you're saying you're because a high functioning woman finish. who attracted low functioning No, no, it's not what men. I said. I said prior to me doing the work and becoming a high functioning woman, my low functioning self attracted low functioning men. Hold on. That, you know why I attracted them? Because- I needed low functioning to feed low functioning. Okay, uh, hold on, hold on. Gentlemen, what this woman is explaining here is the epiphany face. A low functioning man cannot feed a high functioning woman and a low functioning woman can't feed a high functioning man. And so what I'm telling you is there is no equally yoke there. If a high functioning woman is uh uh-uh, a gallon. Okay. Okay. And a low functioning human being, let's just go human being, not even man. Now she woman. got props. We got props. <laughs> this is the high functioning person. This is the high okay? functioning woman right here. Just a person. Let's just. Per- All right. So that was obviously from somebody's phone. They recorded. Here's another woman on this topic. I thought this was a really interesting video. Let's check it out. This might step on some toes, but a lot of people don't know what a low functioning woman is. And in light of Dr. Bryan's interview with Cam Newton and Nick Cannon, I just want to give some real world situations of how this can be relatable to you as well. And before I go down those facts, I just want to state that these men are not not comprehending what she's asking. They were just called out and did not want to answer the questions in which they were being asked. Like most men that we encounter. But Dr. Bryan is right. A lot of these women would have never crossed their paths if they were high functioning women. And they felt insulted. Like I only get the baddest of maybe on the outside, but on the inside, the women are clearly struggling internally. And I hate to tell you, but men know exactly who they can play with. I agree with that. I agree with that. Do you have multiple kids by the same man, but he refuses to ask you to marry him? Does your boyfriend or the guy you've been exclusive with talk to other women, but you refuse to leave him? Is he physically and verbally abusive, but yet you always come up with the excuse of, I'm scared to leave of what he may do to me or my kids? Are you easily manipulated? Yeah, I support Ekane and her foolishness, but she is a walking definition of a low-functioning woman. Who's Ekane? Comment down below. There is no monetized amount that you can present to me that'll make me the field six or seven, baby mama. Or third. And I'll never say don't talk to no... What about the second or first? Matter ...who has kids. Because I have a kid. I'm a single oh. mother. And I do crave for love. But if you see somebody intentionally reproducing in multiple households and they're not present in those households, why would you go and do the same thing with this man? And what's even crazier is, even though they've done this interview and the public has seen it, there are still women who are going to crawl into their drawers. And they know this. That's why I don't mind walking away from a situation now because I've I've come into my high functioning, okay? And there's always a woman who's willing to do what I'm not. Dr. Bryan said, we teach what we know, but we create who we are. And I love that. We are not victims of our circumstance, okay? So get out of this low vibration and this low functioning and tap into your high functioning. The more we hold these men accountable for their actions, what, we, what was it, shame, bringing shame back? They may start to actually act right. But if there's always going to be that handful of people who are allowing it to happen, we'll always run into these problems. Start holding these folks accountable with change actions, not words. Okay, there's a huge problem with this. The, 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 the more we call out men like Nick Cannon and Cam Newton is that the m- most men who these chicks qualify for are not those men. Why are you worried about what Cam Newton or Nick Cannon is doing if your house is not in order? Right? Like these men who you're calling out, most of these women who are criticizing them don't really qualify for fully. And what I mean by that is Yes, you may check the healing part and you may have better critical thinking skills, right? You're not as dumb as the dumb chick who's just like, hey, all I have is my body to offer. I'm not that bright. I can cook for you once in a while. Now shut up and listen to what you tell me to do. You call that low functioning. Cool. But also they happen to be very attractive. Those men are going to do what they're going to do. There's a plethora of those women who can't wait to play that role. And while I can agree with this chick and other women that, yes, men who go around creating broken homes and they think they can handle it and I'll spend time with them and I'll juggle the whole situation, they are part of the problem. But they're not part of your problem. They're acting like this is some type of um, newfound solution to solving 
modern women's issues and not been able to lock down a man when it's not. It's not. And if high functioning woman doesn't mean that you're caffeinated, then you really don't have any true hope in being with the man who is good for you, who's healthy for you to maintain a healthy relationship because you're still living in delusion. If you're a decent looking woman today who's done the work, you should be able to lock down a man. Plain blank period. In most cases, think they deserve more than they actually do. Guys, of course, I'm curious to know, what do you think? Leave your comments down below. I appreciate you for checking out yet another episode of The Coffee Pot. Tonight's time. I'm out, man. Peace.